Minecraft Mentor here and today we're going over the lightning rod from Immersive Engineering. So we're going to start with a uh, high voltage coil in the middle. We're going to surround it with HV, if my scroll wheel would work, HV accumulators around each side. In the corners it's steel scaffolding and that's going to give you your first layer back to the high voltage coil in the middle. This layer is going to be treated fences in the corners, light engineering blocks above the accumulators, and then the third layer is the high voltage cable again, or coil, and then we're going to fill it in with our copper coils. Finally, to uh, turn this into a multi-block structure, we're going to hit the light engineering block with our hammer, and that gives us what we need. Now, if you look right here, these kind of look like plugs. That's how you're going to export or uh, output your energy from these and they do have an internal buffer of 16 million we've got a lightning rod over here that was hit by lightning earlier today it took a quite a while to do this but well worth it with that much energy per lightning strike so if you're able to pull the energy out of this uh, quickly you have the chance of getting quite a bit in one single thunderstorm now I've got it set up to where we have HV cables running into a an accumulator you're obviously going to need more than these because these only hold 4 million. And that's it for this one. Oh, wait. Besides, uh, you are going to need steel fences once you get the base and start building up from here. Oops, I broke it. But start building up from here. And the more of these you have connected to the center area here, the more likely it is to get lightning to strike this, which increases your odds of getting all that redstone flux or or Forge Energy, whatever mod you're, or version you're in. And that's pretty much it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.